Hi, this is Scott Jordan, and you are watching live here at Cellars of Sonoma in beautiful, cold, it's getting cold, Healdsburg, California. Welcome to TV Tuesday Live. This is the show where we taste wine, we talk about wine. Uh, we've got Dave Bat in the house. I am, or He's outside the, on the patio, On actually. the patio. Right. Yeah, this might be our very last show outside. I don't know. We're getting rain this weekend. Um, you know, the so summer. You got that Indian summer thing, though, that happens. I, I know, but it's, it's, it's leaning in the wrong direction. Yeah, We're going to have rain like, for like four days. Four days? Yeah. And I'm thinking that the vendors have to be pooping in their pants because, you know, if it rains for one day and then yeah. and then the next day it's hot and sunny, they don't have to pick. It's usually okay. Right. But you start to get two, three, four days in a row. Now you have mold issues. Right. right? I mean, that's – so I'm thinking they're scrambling. They're, they're, they're looking at the same report that I was looking at Well, today. it's also not just about what's still coming in, too. It's what they're already working on, too, in-house. So yeah. they're, they're kind of splitting the crews yeah. different directions, for sure. Well, most of the most of the fruit is in, but there's, uh, there's still some out there. Yep. I was in uh, Kenwood on um, uh, Sunday. I was trying to think what day it was. Sunday. Angie and I went and, and hit a few wineries in Kenwood, and I saw over at uh, Landmark, which they do Chardonnay, they had tons of red fruit on the, I don't know whose fruit they're, they're wow. I mean tons, and Landmark was packed. Remember you and I went over there and oh, did sure. some video yeah. and, and, and shots? It was, it was, that place was packed. And they've got a new hotel they're putting in over there too, I think. I, oh. I just saw that. Oh, I didn't see a hotel. Where the hell are they yeah. putting that? Landmark? You're talking about Landmark. I think so. Or maybe I'm just talking about a Landmark Hotel. Ah. Nah, nah, nah. I, I don't know. Look at the grouse. <laughs> it says Landmark Inn. Landmark Inn and oh. something. Well, where the hell's the inn? It's, I don't know. Maybe it's out for now. We'll be in later. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, it was a janky way that they had us parking over there. It was really weird. It was just that that was a... Um, uh, yeah, I didn't get the best vibe either. They were doing a wedding. The wedding was coming up, and it was like 3 o'clock, and the wedding starts at 6. And I'm thinking, why the heck were you even open? Right. You're, you're about to entertain 150 people, man. You should have shut this thing down and right. be done with it. So, right. Anyway. Um, okay, so you guys can tell I've got my Giants gear on because the show is interfering with my game, but I want to be consistent. And uh, we are up one nothing uh, against uh, Chicago. If we win, we go to Chicago and play on Thursday. So I'm just letting you know. What I've got my stuff lose? on. It's over. The season's over. Thank you for coming and and, and have a nice love day. you and have a nice day. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so they got to win tonight and they got to win on Thursday, and then they play the winner of the Dodgers and um, uh, uh, that other team that they played. Whoever that is, I'll think about it. Anyway. All right. Um, yeah. So it, it, it's an exciting time of the year. Great game. Those of you that saw the game last night, um, it was. Long game. Woo, baby, baby. Well, 3 in the morning, East Coast. That's when it finished. <laughs> you had to be a real you had to be a real fan to stay up and watch it. But you know what? You're fully you know, entertained at that point. You're damn right. If you like baseball, that was like the best baseball game ever ever it was it was so i was happy and crying and happy and crying and uh -huh. happy <laughs> so it ended on happy but uh we're we're 
we're gonna we have the game on right now, and uh, so that's just. And so he is. will be distracted on occasion. I will be distracted for the entire or show. Or applaud for no reason whatsoever. So what we're doing tonight is we're featuring the uh, Egret and Bonneau wines, which actually is the same winery. Uh huh. Um, they have what we call a second label, and I'm going to defer to you on that as we move forward. Oh, sure. sure. And uh, so people know what a second label is all about and why they do that. Uh, John has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 wines. Plus, you're probably missing a couple here sure. and there that, yeah. that, that, that he actually, are. he's probably at 15. Sure. Close so, 15. Uh, bless you. He, he has more SKUs than any of the other wineries that we have in here by by a large uh, mile. And um, and his, his portfolio is wonderful. And, and it's oh, really is. It's all consistent across the board. Uh, the quality of the wine is consistent and lots of variety for folks who are looking to have a couple different things in the rack. So yeah. really nice, really nice. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to taste tonight. Uh, if, if you if you're looking at the email blast that I sent out, I showed all the wines that he has, uh -huh. but I put in red the ones that we're actually going to taste tonight, just to give you a contrast of what he has. We're going to taste a 14 Egret Sauvignon Blanc from Paso Robles. Uh -huh. We're going to taste a 2012 Bonneau Pinot Noir from Los Caneros, San Giacomo Vineyard. Okay. Uh, then a Egret Cab, to give you a contrast on their cab. And then uh, the 12 Bono Meritage. Okay. And uh, it looks like an out. That's good. Uh, 12, uh, oh no, 13 Petit Syrah, and then finish with the cab. Although that could be a toss up on what oh, sure, you would sure. do. Right. In, you know, but, you know, however that works. Sure. All right. So uh, let's start right at the top. All right. Cool. Now, this is an Egret product. So. So tell us about the Egret label and what that's all about. And that's a real pretty label, by the well, way. Well, Egret as a brand has existed for a handful of years, but it is newly labeled now as a, a label that goes back to uh, the great white Egret. Uh, it is also, coincidentally, the same bird that is featured on the Audubon Society logo. Uh, and so the idea behind this brand as a wine brand for uh, – uh, for Bono and for John Banbury, the winemaker, is that uh, you have a separate set of wines that are, as a second label, uh, really tasty and, and highly affordable. Uh, and then he gets into his bigger wines in the Bono brand. So, so you've got a, a you've got a group of these wines that include a Sauvignon Blanc, a Merlot, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, and a Pinot Noir. Uh, newly sourced, uh, he used to source from other areas, but he's really focusing on now the quality. Uh, and the Egret brand also, when you buy a bottle of Egret, uh, he does sponsor the Audubon Society of, of California, California Audubon Society, and they benefit because what they do uh, in this program is between vineyards, they're putting uh, uh, along where the migrating birds go over, they actually have areas where those birds can rest and rewater and be protected before wow. they go back out to their migration and continue the migration. So that those co that on that corridor, uh, the Audubon Society is hoping to be able to afford to put in a lot of those uh, areas for those birds that are doing migration. A portion of the proceeds, therefore, because John sponsors the Audubon, California Audubon Society, will go toward that project, which is important for the, uh, the California folks here. Uh, we're based in San Francisco, so not too far away. Nice. Yeah. So, so a a, a nice uh, affordable wine. Uh, retail is twenty. If you're a club member, you get it for seventeen bucks. Um, that's a nice, fresh, clean, you know, clean uh, Paso Robles Sauvignon yeah, Blanc. Tasty Sauvignon Blanc. Paso Robles is uh, among the viticultural areas in uh, in America. Uh, the uh, Paso Robles is a, the, based on heat days and so forth. Is actually the most the warmest Paso Robles is as a yeah, growing region. Yeah, get pretty damn warm over there. I'll tell you. Yeah. I was there a week a week ago, and man, oh man, that was nice though. It's a great place if you want to look for a place to visit while you're in California. Um, you could spend some you could spend some serious time in Paso Robles. It's so like you turning, have to come here like first. turning back time in a sense because it, when you're over here, you you. 
uh, you know, Napa, you, you it, it, it's pretty well every driveway is, is a huge winery, but uh, over here on the Sonoma side, uh, it's a lot of agricultural influence mm -hmm. going on over here. And Paso Robles is in that zone as well. Yeah. That's real clean. Now, now is he uh, is he aging that in uh, just stainless steel, or it's, it doesn't see? I, I'm actually not sure. Oh, um, okay. Uh, this Pretty is just, soft. Uh, yeah. It's softer than I would have. That's why I suspect that uh, he's he's working uh, a little bit of oak into there. Yeah, I tried to uh, pull some tasting notes down, but his website's being revamped. Yep. Yep, I saw so that. I, I looked have, at that uh, today too. I was not successful at all. Um, well, that's super clean. Uh -huh. Again, a very affordable go-to kind of wine, sure. everyday drinking. Uh, it's clean. It's well, clean. what is the price on this one? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Okay. You know, twenty American. I mean, that's just yeah. Instead of Chinese. Well, you can give it, Chinese is four thousand yen. It's four thousand yen. Ah. You're, you didn't you're, I didn't know that. Is that no. today or? Uh, no, I just made that up. I, I know no you idea. probably I did. Yes. I, don't, I wouldn't know what a yen was from a, from a yang. <laughs> <laughs> but th that's a really nice wine, and it, and yeah. it a great. It, it's a great wine uh, to uh, add to your, to your meal plan. It's a great start, you know, when you're going to start out with a with a meal. Um, so you can think about these as your your house wines that you grab on a moment's notice. Yeah, that friend comes over that's kind of a wine slammer, and you don't want to bring the heat. You know, you want to bring something that they can really, in, it satisfies them, and you're right, not right. peeling off 100 bucks. Um, all right, so next is a, a Bono wine. This is not an Egret wine. Mm -hmm. This is a Bono, but they're both made by Bono. Uh -huh, but sure. I'm just trying to get people to understand the difference between uh, those two products. Um, so this is 2012. This is the current uh, release of their Sonoma Coast Pinot, mm -hmm. um, Los Caneros, the you know the end that starts to go toward Napa, right? Um, and it's uh, San Giacomo Vineyard. Uh, did you get that shot of that vineyard that's up on this one? That's a that's a beautiful shot. Um, that's a majestic place it's a really special place right yeah they, if you ever get a chance to go to the los caneros region where this vineyard is um man there's some pretty spots right over there it is really it's amazing yeah, it's a great well-known family vineyard uh, uh they've done generations there and the nice thing about doing that is they're watching over the land and what what grows there and the quality of what grows there because they live and breathe it every day so uh, John comes along and uh, works out a relationship with them and can kind of plug into that information, too, and, and be able to Thank you. access uh, consistent fruit from there. Uh, really nice. Great nose on this. Oh, yeah, oh yeah this is it. And, you know, if you, if you lined up 10 Pinots and only one was San Giacomo, you could find it. It's so different than the, than the other Pinots. Um, you know, in the northern end, Russian River, very, very different. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is in the uh, sommelier uh, a blind taste. Well, actually, sommelier uh, uh, where they were selecting regional uh, favorites that represented a particular region. Uh, the Bono was chosen as uh, the number one most uh, indicative of the Carneros of region, that region. Of that region. Well, it's it's. It's definitely one, you know, that that you can it, – it, it stands out. Yeah. It's, but it's elegant. It's a really elegant wine. Yeah, um, I like this a lot. Yeah. Yeah, this has a lot of nice following. People really like this when they, they taste it. I use it as a go-to. You know, uh, there are certain people that have a, a certain palate for Pinot. Um, they're looking for a little richer Pinot, maybe a little, little bigger mouthfeel. And uh, this kind of fills that gap well, nicely. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Now I am paying attention to the wine, but I am watching the game, and it's right there. And we do have somebody. Uh, just so that you know, in case your TV broke, um, there we have a man on first, and uh, there is one out, and uh, I think that man up to bat is Posey. 
but I can't tell because I'm getting a split, split screen. Yeah, I'm right. getting a split screen. It's uh, number 12, so that would be Posey. The toughest, I'm hearing that. Oh, that's great. The toughest to strike out. I love that. This is beautiful. It really is. Uh, retail on this is uh, three hundred dollars. No, forty-two, thirty-five, seventy for the seller club. Luscious, wow. Really, uh, a lot of layers of complexity in this. It, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on in that. And now we're 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 we've been doing this. Uh, We've been doing this thing about verticals. Last week we did, I did three sets of verticals, which was pretty amazing. So you did what, La Serena? You did what I else? I did La uh, Serena, uh, the La Baritage, 11 and 12. Okay. I did... Um, Super Sonoman. Super Sonoman, Meritage, uh, no, Cab, uh, 2000, oh, base hit, thank you. 2009 and 10, and then we did, uh, boy, it's only been a week. <laughs> Karina, what did I do? What did I do? What was the other one that we had? That, the vertical that we did. Come on, it was, I did the Lost Arena, yeah. Right. And I did a, um, oh, was it a Deering? Yeah, it was a Deering. Moon dance. Moon dance? No. Uh -oh. Anyway, what we've come up with, we've got we've got several in the house, and you right. you came up with a, a little flyer that we'll email out, and you guys can take a look at. These are super rare wines. I I don't know how to I, I don't know how to tell you. Let me let me let me put it this way. Let's put it this way. And I've been telling you, I have been talking about this for a year and a half, at least maybe two years. These are tiny, small production wines, and when the wines are gone, they're gone. Well, guess what I found out today? Wine club members, that Mavedra that you have in your shipment is all you're going to get. How about those apples? That's it. It is officially sold, sold out. out. Okay. Gone. And I went to the owners. I said, come on. At least one more box, just to you know, for for our best of our best. Nothing, not a not a bunch of nothing. Wow. Cannot. There's no outlet. There's no place to go. No no. It's gone. It's just gone. It's be we, done with we it. We probably have twelve more bottles in here, and we're done, huh? Yeah, I don't even think you have that much. I think you're. I think if you don't pick up your wine club shipments, you might be out of luck. And that's just yep. the way it is. And I'll put something else in there and, you know, whatever. But yep. that's a perfect example of what we've been talking about, about these small production wines, man. Or the Rosé Grenache. We blew through most of that in-house. Just ridiculous. Yep. So, you know, I haven't been kidding. I've been telling you that's the, the real deal. All right. So you have, you have a man on first, man on second. You still only have one out and a uh, count of three to two, and it's two. God, is that to Blanco? What did they move him up in the order for? He stinks. <laughs> oh, man, I need to drink more wine. <laughs> wow, back to a regularly scheduled yeah, program here. That was the commercial. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> All right, Bono Wines, that's a great I, I love that note. bottle of wine. I really but do. The finish is still there. I, I just, yep. right, it's still, it's still there. Yeah. We all had a visitor, and he moved on. Pedestrian. Yeah. So, um, all right, I'm paying attention. I am. All right, now, another egret wine. Sure. 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, again, retail on that is 20 bucks. $17 if you're smart enough to be a seller club member. And you must be, because you are. <laughs> this is, uh, now this says Sonoma County on it. So when you're, when, you're, when you're out of wine that we've sent you, you have no more wine, um, and you want to read the label because the label is telling you
from what region that might come from. Right, right. When it only says California on it, it, it can come from anywhere. And the quality could be terrible. So if you don't know the producer, look for the appellation. That's going to tell you a great, a, a great deal about where it came from and whether that's going to be a cool wine for you to have. Right, Karina? Yeah. Thank you. Um, she agrees with you. Yeah, this has always been a really fun wine to go to. Go to. I like this wine a lot. It's uh, you know, it's it's rosy. It's 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 uh, round. It's now at one time John had said that he that he puts twenty percent of his premium juice in with the e, with the egret on the like uh -huh. on the cabin Merlot. Uh -huh. Right. That's yes. what he does. That that's a. And and the other part yeah, of which this, which is a classy thing to do, because because uh, you a don't lot of have times, at this price point, you, you don't have to do that. Right at that price point, you have another label. You don't really have to mix uh, mix them together. But uh, you know, John always says he'd like to deliver for all his wines, whatever quality level it is. He wants to deliver two notches below uh, price wise what the competition might be in in that general vicinity of quality yeah. and structure. So so he's always. Uh, uh, he'd rather underprice it and get more of it out there and, and more play with the wine and be able to really share the wine rather than to mark the price up and go for mm -hmm. the highest dollar. Yeah, I, I, um, the, the other thing that, that John does that really helps in the, in the finish of the wine is that he's got a really cool distemmer uh -huh. that has lasers that, that really separates that fruit. Yeah, it's an optical sorter, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's computerized. Optical. Yeah. Optical. It is. Technical term. Optical. I like that. It, it, he actually sets the parameters of what can get through into the winemaking process. The computer figures it out. Anything that doesn't belong, there are little air jets that take care of getting rid of that off the table before it gets into the process. It's it's incredible yeah. when it comes onto the table. The fruit's really clean, man, and yep. it. It makes a difference because now you're not much. crushing s stems right. and and other bugs and and flies and just junk. Right. Yep. Wine junk. And so that makes a really really clean wine. So here you have a you know, I don't know, I'd call it a value brand. I mean it, it's it's it, it's maybe a notch above that in in price, but for $20 for you to get a Sonoma County uh, Cabernet Sauvignon that John put 20% of his premium juice, which we're going to get to that premium juice mm -hmm. yep. it, on the next three. Right. Um, I mean, damn, that's that's a yeah. that's a buy. That's a total buy. This is something you just add to your to your everyday going at it wine. Um, you just crack one of those, and you're feeling good that you've got a nice wine. Right. You know, it's not a it's not a um, one that 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 you have to pair up with the meal, but it's one you can enjoy. Oh crap! Oh boy! All right, so we tied up the game. What? Oh boy, they tied the game. That's well, not it's more interesting. The rest of the game's more interesting now. No, it's not. It's only good when we're winning. But if we stop them here, we you know. But there's no outs. I hate that. And what is it? The third inning. I can't even. I can't see that. It says three. Oh. I can't see it that far. How can you see that? You can't see that. I saw the back of his shirt. It said three. No, that's his <laughs> number. It's nothing to do with, with the inning. I thought I'd throw that in and see what happens. I love that. Yeah, I think I think this is um, just a great example of having some really nice fruit, putting it together, and. Um, Getting it out uh, in, in a very affordable way and not really compromising the the quality of what you're doing. Yeah, people right? are really liking this in the room. They are. Oh, big it's time. Cabernet. Hey, Corey, have you had the Egret uh, cab? You need to get a glass and and participate, since you got a little lull there. Um. Man, we've been we've been uh, we've been busy down here. Yeah. We've had some off weird days. We're not normally busy, and they're busy. So I'm loving that. Uh, she's got your, your wine. So, uh, yeah, so 2000, this is a 2014, right? Uh-huh. 
cap? He has a Merlot that's a 2015. Okay, that's the in one that in that lineup, but uh, this is a 14. Yeah. Well, and you know Merlot it just it, you know it got destroyed for years. Uh huh. Isn't that funny? Yeah. It's it's a great wine. It's a great wine. It, I think it's making a comeback. Yeah. Don't you think it's coming back? I think it's coming back. Yeah. What are you laughing at over there? Nothing. She's enjoying that Cabernet over there. Yeah. Yeah, it's wine tasting, not wine drinking. That, that, just, just in case you don't. Know. That's okay. She's spinning the glass. I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Do you see a dump bucket here? Yeah. Was there the a dump same. bucket here? I don't think so. We're the only we wine did one show. We, show. One. we did one. We did one show. We did one. We did one show with a dump bucket. What was what that was, about? I don't know. Oh, probably because we had a vintner on board. Mm. I don't know, man. We're just on. That's really good. That's and it goes delicious. on and on. This is not a, yeah, yeah, is that what not you a got? wimpy a wine. Cab, right? It rocks. For 20 bucks. Yeah. $20? You're crazy not to add a few of those. These are, these are great. Um, here's an example. You're in the wine club, those of you watching from home, and you get four bottles four times a year. Okay, shipping is so much cheaper when you go to six, and if you go to twelve, it's significantly cheaper. It's about thirty percent less than a couple of bottles. And you know, I know people on budgets, and, and I get that. But man, throw a bunch of this in there. Yeah, exactly. Fill that box, man, with this, and you're good to go. Yep. And you'll find it's use you use it for all sorts of occasions. Well, yeah, you look. You can't always crack open a, you know. Uh, above the bar ultra premium wine you, you know that yeah, i mean in my house i do i don't drink you know wine under you know five hundred dollars but that's just me just because that's me of course but for the rest of yous you know for all you other folks other folks right the ones yep, down yep, here yep you know yeah all the little people yeah the one that hillary's trying to get to yeah those people anyway um i had to throw that in there let's get politics in here somewhere yeah um no, it, you want to go to wine. You're not always going to go to ultra premium wines, and so why not have something that that really has? Um, it's a it, it's a very nice, well made wine, and it's not just some funky juice that somebody squeezed off that they knew they weren't going to do anything with. No, he he you know he he took care in sourcing uh, the juice here and making things happen here. So. Uh, it's very much classic. It's varietally correct. It, it does its thing. And that sounds like I'm trying to say it's not really good wine. It's actually a fine wine. It is a fine wine. It's just that it's also affordably priced. And what a great thing to do. To, uh, and I think sometimes that can be deceiving. When you see a, you know, when I see a, a inexpensive wine, I'll give you an example. I went to Paso Robles, you know, a week, a week or so ago. And... Um, some of those wines were twenty three bucks, and and but they were really good. Uh huh. So I was I was in a way misjudging them a little bit because the price point was so low. Oh, okay. But but I saw so many that were like that, then then it didn't bother me. But the price point did make me think, oh, this isn't going to be anything good. Right. And uh, you know, this is a perfect example of you know, over judging that and then you don't want to do that. Correct. Yeah. Right? Excellent. Yeah. Did I pick that all right? Okay. Yeah. All right. So all right, we got out of that inning. Okay, we're good. Tied up. Just so you know, tied up at the bottom of the of the third, we're coming into bat and we're gonna score five. Score right. five? All right. Can we score five? Is that legal? I yeah. guess so. I guess yeah, we, we could. Can. Sure. We scored five last night. Not on one hit maybe, but no, no. It was good, though. It's a good game. It was all fun. I'm, I'm excited. Um, it'll be more exciting if we win. You you people from Chicago and that area that are that are Cubs fans, don't don't get all worried, okay? It's a lot more fun oh, to don't be worry. in game, not game five. <laughs> game five's like, that's it, man. Yeah. It's do or die for both teams. So you're, you're kind of like wanting to get that far because then it's even a cooler game to, to sit well, back and watch that. Thought of you know embracing them. We love you guys. You're right. good, but we want game five, they're, man. They're that saying the be, same thing about the Giants too. Yeah, they're saying we're gonna we're gonna beat your butt right now and go home. <laughs> I want to go home as a winner and and then kick us to the curb. 
Uh, I, the, I can't he's say from where. Chicago. I'm from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Chicago. Yeah. So th that's a that's a, a great wine, and I think what we'll do is uh, we'll integrate a few of the eager because there's some other egret wines uh, in in John's portfolio um, that I think we need to highlight. If, sure. Because people don't know, there's you know, we've we've got um, this is the number three, not not this or or that's what I do three. Are you left-handed? In no, sign language, this is three. Oh, is that you took sign language? So I'm getting I'm getting from my producer my and from my producer director and 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 uh, camera person social media person. All those people telling me sitting that, there? that this is no that, well I can't even do it. This is three. Three. That means three zero. That's thirty minutes. Three. That's not three. three. This is three. What do you mean it's six? How could it be six? <laughs> Yeah. I, we, when did I say do sign language? <laughs> that simply said. Well, whenever we a thirty minute and a ten minute. Whenever we don't have a sound working, we have to switch to sign language. That's all I know. That's unbelievable. This means six. This is six in sign language. Well, yeah, because really? yeah, because it got nine, does? eight, nine, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Well, well, ah, uh, I can't. Sorry. Ah, uh, uh. all right. We got the math going now. That's good. It's hard for my brain. It's hard for my brain to take all that in. I just got a lesson on sign language. I, I can't do it. I have no. I'm not that smart. I didn't know you know sign language. Do you really? That's weird. Oh. Oh well, then you know it well. Wow, that's awesome. All right. I love that. What? What? I'm paying attention. We don't need microphones anymore. We got sign language going yeah. on. Yeah. Why? Oh. Oh. <laughs> on my sign language? So, so Jan's afraid that wow. Dave and uh, Corey will be talking behind your back, I guess. Oh, I love that part. I hate this play by the dog, by the, by the, oh, he's safe, man. Oh, get, get, get that. See, there get. we go. We lost our program oh, again. Due to technical difficulties on the ball game, we have lost our broadcast. <laughs> 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 All right, so I, w I went and put the Meritage and then the Petite Syrah, then the Cab, but almost, you almost could flip that. Uh, yeah. Or maybe. I, I, I would go right to the Petite. Uh, the petite because it's also round and kind of got that luscious thing going on. The meritage is, well, you know what? Doesn't I don't really know. matter. Doesn't I don't really know, matter. Man. Since we haven't done this side by side, we're going to wing it. I'm sure that uh, John Banbury, who's watching this program, will be uh, uh, texting us shortly and explaining what we should have done. But in the meantime, we're going to do it. Our All right. Way. So we have three wines that w that we have left. Let's let's get let's see if we can get some audience participation here. I've got a. Uh, Meritage, which is a uh, 82% cab, 16% Malbec, 2% Petit Verdot. I have wow, it's starting to snow here. Man, <laughs> it got really yeah, cold. It's cold, Holy yeah. Crap. I have a yeah, I have a uh, Petit Syrah, that's all Petit Syrah, and then I have a cab, and I'm assuming it's all cab. So which one would we we pour first of that group? I think you do this first. All right, that's not where I would have gone, but let's do what that. What would you have gone? What would you have done? The cat? I would have done the petite uh, first. You don't think it's? You think it's? You think it's less bigger than? Uh, just because of the style, I think I would. But you know what? You got that one in hand. Let's go with that, and we'll see what we think all afterwards. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. I'm pouring the uh, meritage. Do I have some uh, objections? Oh, okay. What's well, in the? It's in the order. Man, oh man, where's my jacket? It just dropped a. It's bunch. refreshing. It's refreshing. It is refreshing. It's freaking cold out here. Holy shit! Hmm. 
Great nose. Yeah. Really generous on the nose. Yeah. So I said this was, what, 82% cab? And then it's got a little petite verdot in it. Mm -hmm. And then it has Malbec? What does it got on the back side there, girl? Wow. She's reading the fine print. What is it? Go ahead. It's 82% Cabernet Sauvignon, 16% yep. Malbec, 2% Malbec. Petit Verdot. All okay. right. Sorry. We got the Malbec in there. Nice, smooth. We're seeing some additional uh, guests here. Yeah, the nose is really, really out, yeah, out there. It's really generous. It's uh, well, I'm getting my nose is getting clogged with the smoke oh, from next door. Sure. That smokiness is coming from the uh, from the worst. We're 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 unfortunately we we're next to the worst, <laughs> and that's worst. W U R S D. He's been cooking something over there. That has been blowing in in the tasting room all afternoon. And I don't know what made you hungry, was. right? Yeah, it did. And then I then I had a salad. You can't do that with I know. with a great that was gay. Chicago style hot dogs. That, that was that was probably that was probably the I, that the was, brats. I mean that was. We're talking about great stuff. I'm just, None of it's vegan. I mean, come on, what the heck? Well, there was chicken in there. All right. In my yeah. in my salad, I did. I had a salad. You had a salad. A salad. And I even backed off on the dressing. So I had a salad, and I backed off on the dressing. What is your problem? I don't know, man. It's really <laughs> weird. But I've been. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! Oh dang it! Yeah, I didn't swear. That's weird. What happened? <laughs> Yeah, what the hell happened there? I think that's the first time. I, wow. I haven't heard that dang thing before. Oh, man, dude, man, what are you doing? Run Let's do a like replay that. on that one, huh? Oh, I'm seeing it, and I'm not liking it. Wow, that's a heck of a play. You want to get a replay going on here? Where's yeah. the replay? Once again, our uh, program has been interrupted. Oh, by interrupted it. by the baseball game. Sorry. We don't expect any less. No. So, Meritage. So, uh... Price point fifty nuggets, forty two fifty. If you're a seller club member, uh huh. Um, you know, build a meal around this. Totally. You know what? You know what I cooked that was really good. Well, actually, I didn't cook it. The the. Are you talking about KFC again? No, no, no. Oh no, I didn't cook it. Oh. Um, the slow cooker cooked it. Oh. I just picked. I picked the meat out. I went to Costco and I was. She calls me the slow cooker too. I yeah. Mean, I actually, instead of an oven timer, I actually use a smoke detector. It works really well. Oh. When that goes off, I know it's done. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't have to. Hey, hey, don't be there stealing my. There goes your my, script. My script is gone. Is there a question from the guests? Okay, have some Pinot. What, what do they want? It's right there. Oh, where's the wine? Okay, got it. Good night, Irene. Holy smokes. Okay, so I I went to Costco, got some stuff, and um, Angie asked me, my wife Angie, she asked me to get um, some meat to put in them. And you know what I you know what I bought? Damn, you know what I? Oh, right to the wall. Dang. Um, you know what I bought was I bought. It's like watching two pro. You know, have you ever had those TVs with the little thing in the corner? Yeah. I feel like by watching you, we've got both that and this show. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Maybe we can bring in that picture onto the so <laughs> yeah, people right. can see what the hell I'm looking at. So, so I picked up what I and, and I've never actually cooked one. I like um like lamb shanks. Uh huh. I really dig that. This was a lamb roast. It was this freaking big around. Wow. And it's just lamb. It's like you know, <laughs> it's lamb. Wait, what do they sound like? <laughs> it's not like a horse and a lamb all in one, or a horse mimicking a lamb. 
<laughs> Let me do the ba thing. You know, the ba thing. That was good. Don't, don't lambs go ba? Don't, that, oh, yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. It starts with B, though, I think. I think they spell it. I wasn't I really know. good at that. I was. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so anyway, I put it in, in the uh, slow cooker thing, my bop. And um, that was delicious. That was really a cool meal. And, and the reason I told you all of that. I'm wondering. <laughs> <laughs> this would have gone really well with it. Excellent. Yeah, I can see it's that. Because it's a, it's a, I don't want to say that it's gamey meat, but right. it's, it's lamb. It's not, you know, it's not a, a sirloin steak. Or, sure. Um, but this has a lot of different flavors going on. It really does, and, yeah. That, and that would have that would have worked quite well. She made a funny face when I said that. I this what I said. I was talking about the Meritage. It didn't sound like it paired with the Meritage, huh? It, it paired. She was wondering so the about lamb, the pairing. It's it's on a commercial. I could I don't right now. I'm fine. I can race right through this stuff. Um, this would have this would have worked perfectly. What I like about this wine cool. too is even though. It's got those big tannins and a big style. It's it's really round, and uh, I wouldn't mind just kicking back with this by itself while the slow cooker is doing its job on the way to that meal. Yeah, you know, we we slow cooked it overnight. Wow, that is slow. Well, we put it on low. Oh, low is slow and low and slow. slow. Okay, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. We're experimenting with it, trying to figure out. We don't, you know. Cool. We don't. We don't have you know, kids home like we did when we were little. I mean, when wait. wait. When the kids were the opposite. Little, yeah. yeah, reverse that, yeah. yeah. So I, I don't, you know, um, we don't need big meals. Is what I'm trying to say. Right. And that's a big meal. That was there's enough in there for is me it? to have. Oh heavens. Two or three days. Oh easy. Wow. Oh, there's a ton, man. It's like there's like it's it's a lot. Cool. But it broke right up. It was really tender and yeah. My wife made a really nice gravy and so that's a great little meal. Um, it wasn't terribly expensive. It was like twenty three bucks. Well, that's amazing. But it's a, for three it's meals for several oh, people. Oh, wow. that would be enough for six people. So I'm not yeah. And you know what I bought? And you can spend the rest on this wine. Yeah. Well you want to have the wine. Money. You want to wine to pair nice with your with your food. I'm I'm way okay with it. I'll be interested to see as we work through the next two if you feel that they also would pair with that meal among other things too. Oh yeah. that we can we can we can uh, this just reminded me of that lamb, because uh, uh, in that same day that I went to Costco, I also picked up uh, ribeyes. Holy shavmolies. Boy, were those good. They were fabulous. Nine ninety nine a pound. That's pretty good. That's really good. Not bad. Yeah. They were huge, man. They were this freaking big. They were big, big. And I cooked them. All of my... All of my um, all of my guests, meat eaters, were rare. They wanted it to moo. And I love cooking that because that's like, <laughs> I can't miss. Comes fast, right? Oh, there's, I'm not missing that one. And the only one, of course, that wanted it medium well was my wife. And I, I accommodated her, and God love her. And she likes it the way it is, and I give it to her exactly the way she wants it. And that's the way it works. Yeah, so it was it was it was perfect. Yeah, bring chairs out. Sure, just grab chairs, a couple chairs here, be great. Yeah, I got yeah. chairs right there. There you the go. Nice right lightweight, easy right to there. move. There you go. Yeah, all good. The audience is growing, just as we continue our. That's right. Well, light. that that that's pouring pretty nice. Oh, it's really pretty. Okay. All right. All so. right. All right. So, you in in discussing doing these wines, you really pointed to this. But I did because over the last couple of days we've had as just a little taste, and then turn around and buy it by the glass, and we went through two bottles that way just with various people coming in. So I know it's pouring really well right now. Uh, it has kind of a lusciousness to it that is. The fruit steps forward, but you know what? It, it'll it'll last a long time too. You also have that nose that you know is indicative of of a bigger wine, and so 
So, I mean, it, it, it backs into that roundness. It kind of washes with that fruit. Oh, yeah. Bono. Bono, like Chateau Bono. Yes, ma'am, it's right there. Um, yeah, retail retail price on that is thirty eight, thirty two, thirty. If you're a, a seller club member, um, you know what I love about this and why, why I why I I can this is a wine I can um, I can just sit and sip. I don't right. have to have a meal connected to it or yeah no. you don't have to worry about do i have to decant it's got a little backbone of of chocolate i get a little cocoa chocolate that's right kind yeah of that back end of that yep. and i like that yep yeah i really look for that in sonoma county wines i get it in in, the, in a lot of the napa wines but i don't get it in all of the sonoma county wines i really right. don't right um some of them some areas can be a little green to me but that's me being picky i'm 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 kind of picky it's it's the kind of chocolate you use in uh, you know if you're using it in the kitchen it's not it's not the Nestle's right right of, yeah no it's not cocoa the, yeah. or cocoa right that, exactly yeah. yeah I I call it chocolate just reminds me of you know the little kisses you know the uh -huh. that, yeah 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 that's that's uh let's well, see what I mean it's 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 presenting itself right now ready to go to uh, yeah. sip with a um I. I still think that the Meritage would have been a better fit with the lamb, but the only way to know that is to actually have the lamb here and then really that. We'll have to do uh, a separate show to, with that, right? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, because it came out pretty – it's delicious. It's – wow, it's really good. I'm Maybe I'll freeze some of that and, and bring it in next week. That could be interesting. You could put it on anything. You could put it on bread or whatever. It's, you know. Yeah. We had it uh, – I've seen you soak your bread in the wine. I know. Well, I don't know about that for sure, oh, but okay. I've heard that. Yeah. No, we had it with with uh, these weird egg noodles that got really kind of mushy. Mushy egg noodles. Yeah. Weird, so weird that that noodles. didn't that okay. didn't satisfy. I wanted something. What I was looking for was maybe a, I don't know the right term, ricotoni or one of those kind of Italian. Uh, noodles would have been a better mix with that because uh -huh. it because she made a gravy, and it was all just like you know pulled apart and it was just beautiful, and um, yeah anyway so a good um, pasta wine yeah pasta you know style um, meal sure it's coating a glass well isn't it it is it's clearly uh, look at that a lot of look body at, look, I it. can see the color is sticking to the side of the yeah. glass yeah. Yeah, I'm almost, I'm almost, this is, you know what this is? This is a cigar wine. This is a wine you're going to have with a cigar, and you're going to sit back with a nice cigar. I mean, I like cigars. So, um, uh, with a nice cigar, this would complement that. I agree. Just, I agree. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I think the next one, too, uh, will fall in that category because you, uh, this, for me, this is, uh, taste it now. Enjoy it now. Don't do anything special to it. It's perfect the way it is. Yeah. But when you put the food against it, you're talking about, or for that matter, that well, cigar. Well, you know where this would have, this would have, this would have worked with the ribeye. Okay. Really yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that was bloody like this. Mm -hmm. That ribeye was dripping, baby. That was dripping ribeye. Gosh, I hope we're not in the dark. I feel like I'm in the. Am I? There's a light on the camera. Just you know. There is. Can they still? I, you know, I didn't bring the other lights out. Wow, it's getting dark. That's quickly. all right. Well, holy, holy shit! we're going to become the audio. Uh, will be carrying yeah. us through this. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking that ribeye because they were they were juicy, man. They, they just were, said ten more minutes, right? Yeah. That's easy. We can do that. We just need to get an out here for the love of God. Come on, people. Peace. Chicago. Oh, no. No, we can't have them win. No, 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 no. Really nice. Yeah, you know, this is something I'm, I'm, I'm a big wine guy. In other words, I like my wines big. Not that I'm big into wine. But I like, I. Oh, he is big into wine. Otherwise, he wouldn't be doing this, I'm sure. Okay, that was weird. Okay, all right, all right, that was weird. That's all right. Um, all good. 
you know, not too many wine shows have heckling from the audience. But I know. It, it's it is pretty heckling. cool. Pretty cool. I like it. I, I like know. it. And they're drinking yeah. on the house. Right. And, and they're heckling. That's, that's why they're so calm. It would get a lot worse if we... If, oh, yeah, we charge yeah, them for yeah, the... Yeah, right. Get a lot worse. Okay. Some drama at the Giants game. They're all getting janky. They're going crazy. People will tune out and tune that in now. We need to double play and get out of this thing. Where are you going, Doc? Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, how could that be a foul ball? That can't be a foul ball. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I've, I've liked this from day one. I think this is a fabulous. When know, I opened that up the other day, I said, this is a, this is a winner. Definitely a winner. Yeah. There's certain wines that when you open them up, you know they're on mark. Yeah, right. Sun wines, you gotta let them wait. And we had a, we had a little conversation today with some guests in the tasting room um, about opening up wines. Oh, there we go. Double play. Got them. Sit down, baby. They're all done. Anyway, um, we we had a conversation about. Um, whether you decant wine or not. And we were tasting the La Serena uh, 06 Syrah. And I said, well, you know, I learned from Heidi that. Heidi Barrett, who makes Heidi the Barrett, wine. Who, who makes, makes the that wine. wine. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you guys don't know. Heidi Barrett, she's a world-renowned winemaker. Um, and, and she said, um, don't decant it. Let it open up in the glass. And so what I explained to the customer was, as your meal is going on, it's evolving and changing, and all of a sudden, that wine is hitting its stride, Right. and you didn't force it and right. smack it in the head to make it open yeah. up. Right. Like a lot of these gizmos, and a, you know, they wanted you to do a Willy Wonka, and a, this, you know, <laughs> what a, you know, a ding bonger, and a, uh -huh. you know, flip it upside down, it's got all kinds of weird gadgets and all that, and she's going, no. And, and the second thing that we that that I explained to that cust that customer, glass matters. Go to a bigger bowl if you want the thing to open up. Then go to a bigger bowl and get a you know a, a better glass. Right. Um, now don't look at my glass and give me a hard time. I know this is not a larger bowl, but you know we want to conserve our glass here. Well, one one important thing is to have that closed back on itself, the tulip shape, as we call it. Yes, correct. The tulip shape. It, now, if you get a wider bowl, what you're doing is you're increasing the contact with the air, yes. which means that it's kind of like decanting a little bit. Yes. Uh, but what I like about in that letting it do that change in the glass is you're mimicking what the bottle is going to go through in its aging. So as it goes through that process in the glass, yep. it'll be. Uh, a little kind of microcosm of what the history of the bottle is going to be as it evolves. Yeah. Uh, so, so you get a chance to see what's going to happen to your wine because you're going to buy more than one bottle, right? You ha you open this up and well, you buy. Oh yeah. What's the point of buying one when you and, can have yeah. two and make well, sure you have enough? And then you'll also know what it's going to be like as it ages in your cellar too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta love that. So, don't always run and decant. Use your glass as a decanter, and that's. All right. I like it. So I put this wine at the very end only because it's traditional, I guess. Okay. But you could argue the one, this wine that we have in our glass is a bigger wine than this cab. This is Bonneau's 2012 um, Moon Mountain Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm going to pour myself a little extra because I deserve it. <clears throat> Moon Mountain. Moon Mountain. So you have a picture of that Moon Mountain, don't you there, girl? Yes, you do. Yes, she does. She's going to show that picture. Oh, I put on a Petite Syrah. Well, oh, they're both Moon Mountain. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful picture. It's really, it's it's one of those. Well, really, it's way up there. You know? it's, it's way the heck up there. Way up there. there. It's uh, You get that mountain fruit thing going on. It's and, right, uh, it's right below the famous, uh, uh, Monteroso, Monteroso Vineyard, which is Louis Martini's uh, property that Gallo owns, that that really set the stage for uh, Napa Valley wines, and it just happens and to be mountain fruit, yeah, and mountain fruit, yeah, and it's literally that vineyard's literally at the very top of the of the right of the mountain. Um, 
Yeah, that's where God made things look cool. God, as per like, that God photo. Went, I'm going to make this look really cool. And he went, and man, it was, yeah. it, it's beautiful. It's, yeah. it's as, I'm, and, I'm very and the, uh, fruit that comes up from up there is uh, phenomenal. Well, it's, you know, it's heavily stressed. It's uh, uh, rocky soil in there. There's lots of rocks. There's, so those vines are digging hard for their water source. So it's a big deal. And you, and you have uh, you, know, you have those temperature variances, too, that when you're that high, you get a lot of that diurnal range, that, that top bottom range, too. Mm -hmm. But it really speaks to uh, Bono, where they take, they make the effort to source from really super uh, uh, vineyards. And this is a good example of that Moon Mountain District uh, within the uh, AVA. I was getting some smokiness in the wine, but then I realized that I'm getting smoke from the worst. And it's the worst smoke that I, but it's not in my wine. Right. But I was going to say, wow, this has a little bacon. <laughs> <laughs> it's got bacon. That's all it's I It's coming from bacon. over there. It's from over there, man. The wind's blowing that bacon right at my face. I love that. So another thing I like to say about Bono is, you know, it's a French family originally uh, way back six generations ago making really? wine in France. In France. Uh, and then around, uh, well, uh, on the front end of the 1900s, 1910, something like that, uh, part of the family came over here and settled. That's where Catherine's Vineyard is. And that's their estate vineyard over there right at Bono Road, just south of Historic Square okay. in Sonoma. Uh, and John Banbury is the grandson of Catherine. So so it's still in the family, and you have all of that heritage, and they love to do French style using the California grapes. So they bring they bring the, uh, they care enough about the coopers that, that originated over there, and they bring those barrels into the cellar. So they work the cellar really hard, too. So I like the fact that they're, they're doing the, they're really serious about their winemaking. They do it in a classic French style, and they're really careful how they, work the uh, uh, the cellar so that they can make the a aging uh, of the different batches that they do and then blend them together, be the ultimate recipe and the flavors that you taste in this glass. Really well, nice. This is, a, this is a beautiful cab. This is this is how you make Cabernet Sauvignon, and you, and you don't mess around. 22 months or so, French oak, about a third of it new oak. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a great go-to. Yes. This is this is when you want to you want to really impress your friends. You want to get a really nice uh, bottle of wine. They're not wine slammers, so you're willing to willing to give up a little bit. Uh, that's a nice. Yeah, good job, John. I'm sure John's watching. Yeah, John, John and watching your team, that, your that, team, because there's nice. a team there. To, that's great. Well, yeah, it takes a lot to make wine. It's not like you just squeeze grapes into a bottle and then you're all done. Okay, we're done. Let's bottle it up. Yeah. You know, there's a lot. Some more. folks do that. I I. Don't doubt that yeah, for a minute. Yeah, some folks do that. I don't doubt not, that. Not here. Not here at all. So um, um, the good news is it's one-to-one -one on the Giants game. All right. So we're, we're still in it. But we just hit a ball to the corner for a base hit. And so we're good. A little commentary. Sorry. So we'll, we'll be moving uh, into our next half hour, our second half no, of the show. No, we're not moving uh, into anything. We're rolling this. Yeah. It is. Right. Correct. Yeah. We're here. And if you guys are watching from home and we're in the dark, well, it's because I didn't put the damn lights up because I just didn't have time. They could I, run our audio this, over the game. Nobody cares. It's all right. It's fine. You can see the swirl of the glass. I'm sure nothing. Dad, like like we're, we're in the dark. No, stop it. You're killing me. Um, <laughs> so uh, I want to I want to I want to thank all of you guys for drinking the wine because wine is the reason why we're here, and the wine is good. You like that. Of course it's good. And uh, I want to thank uh, Karina, my director, and uh, she's the producer and um, gaffer and gaffer the, uh, uh, everything. And uh, social media stuff and all that. And so we want to thank her. And, of course, we got uh, Corey Corey's in there. In the Corey's working the room. And she's working the room, making sure everybody's buying wine and making – money for the firm which is good so we thank her for that and dave i want to thank you for uh being here thanks for inviting uh, me i want to thank the giants for entertaining me last night till midnight <laughs> holy smokes baby wow and so hope hopefully we'll have uh, an opportunity to see a game on thursday and i'll be very thrilled if we can do that 
Uh, That'd be good. Ooh, another base hit. I'm liking that a lot. So uh, I got to wrap this thing up because my Giants are about to win this game. Oh, I, I'm not so sure yet. No, well, it's early. I know it's only there's one out. They got two runners on. I like that. I love it. So uh, next week, we probably will be inside. It's getting a little chilly. We're, we're, I'm really pushing the envelope. All right, we'll see. Well, we could do it with blankets. Fire pit right here. I, I'm, I have the fire pit at home that I can bring over we here. Try that one time. Would that be sl slick and cool or yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, she's right. going now. No, it's not now. <laughs> no, I'll turn the lights on. The fire on. light. I, I didn't get a chance today. I was I was running around. We were busy. I'm, I was doing work, wine work. I was wh wine selling work. wine. Damn it. So. Uh, this is where you discover wine one sip at a time here at Cellars of Sonoma in beautiful Healdsburg, chilly Healdsburg. We will see you next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye for Thanks. now. Thanks. Bye. It's a beautiful morning.